Ah, nice where, and refreshed. Where are we going? I fucking forget. I don't know where we're going, <laughs> but I can tell you where we've been. Yes. Through hell and back. We were at the fireplace. And high water. And then we were at the tree place. And now... We, we, we... If I know Mega Man well... We killed the bird. It's fire, tree, and then snake. <laughs> or something like that. Pharaoh, you I forgot think. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Is Pharaoh weak to... I don't... We, are they, they're not even in the same game, are they? Pharaoh Man and Snake Man. So, I have no clue. <laughs> is probably near the Ares Valley. Pharaoh Man's a Mega Man of base. He's cool. Hey, it's go deal. He's not cool. He's never been cool. He's got extra arms, though. He never had good games. He's got Grappra arms. Okay, uh, Spider, whatever. So, no, uh, the... Yeah, so that that's our next location. Uh, however, I've... I've... We've learned some things. Have you been farming with these guys? Haven't been. Well, I'll tell you what's, what I've been farming. I've been farming the clock because oh. I don't know if you noticed our hours. No, I didn't. What, what are our hours at? How long did you? They're plus 40. Nice. We've so played for 40 hours. We've got some stuff. It's one of our longest playthroughs. Longest. Uh, okay, so. Did you send these guys to farm though during that time or? Results of the mission? Yeah. Oh, he's, he leveled up a bunch. He's safe. Big money. Okay. okay. Well, big money was good at least. Thank you. Good. good All right, work. we got stuff. We got a ruins thing. Hunter one. Some sort of duplo piece. Yep. And uh, we can we can deploy some dudes to. We can start. We can we can you know we can do this a little bit. Yeah, send them to the same place that they live or something. Big money. Big, big money's got to go. Big, well, all right. It's a silent K. And I trust Killer Mantis. Because he's got to keep leveling up so that, like, we actually have a good squad. Well, we can do three. We can do all three. Why not, you know? Oh, we can't. Yeah, do all three. What, what's the What's the reason to not There's send them all? no reason as far as I can see. The squad. Look at that squad. Look how competent yeah, they are. Yeah, the cursed squad. Do it. Are we bringing curse into this, too? All right. <laughs> Everything's cursed. <laughs> okay. Um... And so now that we got big playtime, we can create big force metal, right? We can was, that, do was that what it big was? Big force metals. We can do big things with our big playtime. So what was the one that was locked off to us that we really wanted? What what was it again? Was it SP regen like the the like the the magic regen? It's not actually magic, but what's the equivalent in this game? Did you get your fucking The thing that we really wanted that was locked off from us? Did you get this? <laughs> Fuck! I was told if you deploy guys to the ruins. I think you probably have to get it from the ruins first, like not just deploy them, you know? They told me that you deploy them to the ruins and you get this and you get it. I so. mean, they probably have to come back with it. But they they, they came back and I guess we just didn't have it. All that right. wasn't the item they picked up. Oh, well, next time Keep then. Keep sending. That's, we, we'll do it next time. Uh, so, but oh, yeah, yeah, before we do this, let's look at our, let's look at our thing. Because you actually, uh... Force Metal Generation. Yeah, FMG. And a lot it was is those two right gain weapon energy plus so question we got marks? this yeah this these was ones. new weapon energy plus, plus 10. ten and plus twenty five okay so we got to make those right then we got increased damage inflicted yeah that's fine the that weapon energies I think the but, weapon energy but just was the waiting one. around gave us some opportunities and all these yeah. new things are our opportunities shield plus so, yeah three. some of these we already had but the, those ones yeah. are the those ones are the killers. Decrease at damage overall. Okay, let's go make one of them then. Okay, uh, and let me see what else we have. And then there's some crazy ass shit down here where it's just like, mm, yeah, unrefinable moon. Gotta unlock more shit. Yeah. Okay. So trigger buttons? No, we can't scroll up that way. Yes, we can. We can do it left, right. Because we must be able to make at least one plus ten. No, required level is thirty and forty, so we can't make them yet. Still okay. gotta level up. We're but, level nineteen. But soon. Eventually. Soon, asterisk. Yes. Also, now that Cinnamon's in the group, how can we fail? Yeah, we better not. That'd right. just be embarrassing at that point. The other thing I did was uh, I, I bought... Uh, so I did some shopping, you know, in for the in-between mission yeah, of stuff. Uh, so I bought new weapons for Axel, bought new weapon for Massimo. Oh, did you equip uh, them? Yeah, I put the Arrow Buster on cool. Mega Man X, and I bought a bunch of Zero Sabers, even though he's not with us anymore. And just in preparation. We just have them. In, in longing reverence. If he ever comes back, Zero, I'm holding your swords. Just want to let you know, we just want you to be safe out there. In loving memory of Zero. Rip. Right. 
I don't imagine the rebellion army. The voice acting is somewhere around here. Right. <laughs> this is the first time we're playing on this Let's TV. Go. We're we're recording live from Castle Super Beast. Yep. We're and this is a different hey! this is a different TV from your TV. Yes. And I'm once again struck by how pretty this game is yeah. and how perfectly this adapts to 16 by like yeah. This no. doesn't look stretched. No, uh the 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 the, the, the move was was painless. We didn't have to, uh, we just grabbed our disc and our GameCube. Yeah. And we walked over Plugged here. Plugged it into our, uh, HD GameCube cables. And that was all it uh, took? Uh, Nintendo, uh, I had an uncle who worked at Nintendo and he gave me these, uh, HD GameCube cables that never, uh, came out. <laughs> Ultra. Nice. Yeah, the Ultra 64 GameCube cables. Did you see, did you see who was laughing there? Did you see who was, who was ready and waiting in the shadows? Yeah, absolutely. Spider. <laughs> his name Thank right you. yes 50 hours damn <laughs> we did it she just left it on for two days or something we just, i just i just did my business <laughs> did i minimize did you forget at a certain point or uh, uh oh for sure because because oh, like it's two days easily we only forgot. needed 20 hours it's a metaur yeah crush him yeah all right um so there, i have to do this in the right it's order like i have metaur, to do yeah. hawkeye then item capture and then do the thing yeah if i do it the other way around it's no good yeah Metor counter. That's one thing I was told. Oh, is he in a counter state? He's gonna counter C now, so use shots, yeah. Now he's anti-shot, so use melee. Well, which is good, because Cinnamon's attack is melee. What the fuck is she gonna... Uh, make her attack. Two damage. Eh. Hey, well, she does. She does fine damage against regular... Against like, regular low enemies. damage, no doubt, but... Like, it's, uh, it's only against bosses that she does, like, one. That I like that attack. Yeah, that's, it's his normal, like, it's fucking Metor, Metor attack, but it looks really strong. Yeah. Uh, he's still in anti-shot mode, right? Uh, no. He switches back and forth. Now he's- now you want to use shots on him. But he should die anyway, so... Okay. Okay, so, yeah, I gotta do X, Y, A. There we go. Alright. Almost yeah. level 30? Cinnamon's the best. I- I'm- I'm still kind of baffled that she was- she's as good as she is, considering she's not caught up level-wise at all. Yeah. Well, people- people were kind of screaming for, uh, about- ooh. Options. Oh, no. Okay, this is Basement 1. Yes. That's weird that you can even select Basement 1 from it, Basement but, 1. Uh, but, but, you whatever. know, whatever. Whatever. There you go. Yeah. People were screaming. Pokemon rules. Uh, a lot of folks, rightfully so, were, we're like, We're not nah. gonna play Blaze Blue. <laughs> no. They're like, nah, get Cinnamon out, man. You don't know what you're missing. Y'all yeah. don't know what you're messing with. We legit we didn't know. We didn't we know. Had no idea. You know what? And Liam, I'm gonna I'm I'm put that on you, because I wanted her out there. But we, we found out. And now it's this is this is cinnamon, uh, cinnamon Gaiden. cinnamon command mission. Oh my god, this place is sprawling. Well, well door by door, step by yeah, step. Yeah, exactly. See, I like this. This is a good corridor that leads to nothing. You want you want dead ends to guide you. Yes, funnel it, funnel it. What do we got? Bring those funnels in. Shadow cinnamon. Metors. Okay, so this is the metor. This area. is the met. They're, they're mines. It makes so sense. So when they're crouching like that, they're anti-shot. No, because he was jumping and he. Yeah, well. when they're crouching, they're anti-shot. When they're jumping, they're anti-combat. Uh, combat. So now you want to use combat on them. Yeah. Okay, which is perfect for her. Yeah. Did I do that in the wrong order again? That's fine. Let's kill him. No harm done. Add you. Uh, yeah, so like the the melee characters do more damage per hit on those, um, while, but they do them less fr less frequently. Yeah. While the shot characters opposite, right? Mm -hmm. Well, plus um, flying enemies, you don't want to attack them with combat because it's gonna miss all the fucking time. Yep. Crouching is anti shot. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Get that big damage. Also, the knockdowns are. are uh, oh, he's flipped. Yeah, the, the knockdowns matter as well. Okay, shut um, him down. Yeah. And uh, someone pointed out that sometimes we do knockdowns uh, uh, when we shouldn't be doing them because it, it makes certain attack setups fail. So what influences the knockdown exactly? Uh, counter hits based on their elemental. Type. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm gonna switch her out after this because so she doesn't it's need like to be here. Persona. A little bit. It's like some weird corruption of the press turn system before the press turn system. Oh god, the press turn system is so mean. 
and it feels good when it's on your side, but I don't think the trade-off is worth it. The, the press turn system? Yeah, I don't think, I think it's absolutely I don't worth think it. the trade-off is worth it. Like it's it like the difficulty of it being done to you is so much worse than when you get it's, to do it. It's brutal when your whole party just gets immediately shut down, death by death, um, turn by turn. Yeah, I don't know about that, you know? I think uh Like at least Persona's not a particularly hard game, so you can just kinda like shoot through it, but like, but in, you can't, stuff like you SMT can't do that in SMT4. Tougher, yeah. yeah. So hey. we need we need some way to break all these rocks. Yep. So he needs a battery. You wrestle right, for, for for X now. <laughs> Exclusive. On Mega, Mega Man, Man X Underground. Underground. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you all need. We combat. need to make that joke in a Sonic game. How how is that going to work? Exclusive. On Sonic Underground. I also found out, uh, apparently... Hold on. That there's yeah. a kick so thing? The, yeah, so Mega Man gets stronger by, um, using... Uh, hold on a second. Uh, let me switch to melee people for all this stuff. Well, you can hit the, the guy who's knocked down and kill him. You're right. You're right. Uh-huh. Mega Man gets stronger. Um, by using his action trigger, right? Uh-huh. But, um, the other characters are not like that. So, um, uh, uh, Marino, for example, what her higher percentages does is slows down the, the, reels. the real. Cool, okay. Uh, Massimo gets more, or not Massimo, sorry, the other character gets more spins on her, her thing. Like, it basically, it affects... Yeah. I got I gotta type in, sorry, type and talk, um... Yeah, it affects the it affects the, the mini game. The, the mini game, exactly. Yeah. Um, whereas in X's case, it's just Cause, damage. Because it, so. always, it always seemed to me like it was best to wait till it's full. With uh, Shadow Spider, it it gives you a better hand right away. Mm, like um, the odds are better. Mm. Yeah, actually, I can do a melee with his action trigger. You can do whatever with his action trigger; it'll probably kill. Yeah. We've seen all of these, so pick your favorite. Yeah. Not that one. Well, that's the melee one. Yeah, it is. So yeah, and uh, you basically get to. Um, wow, it didn't kill. But yeah, it did. Oh yeah, it, it will. Yeah. You basically get to uh, increase your odds of winning the mini game by increasing their percentages as opposed to building up damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. So it's like if you're confident in your in your ability to stop the wheel on the perfect timing, then, then you can go low. You go. You just do that exactly. That's kind of neat. It's, yeah. pretty, it's it's well thought out. Yeah, skill, skill based, right? I think all of them are skill based. Yeah, I don't think there's any. Mega Man's is not. But like Spiders is the only one that's not really skill based, but there's an element of skill to it. Um, Mega Man's is not skill based. You just hold A to your preference. Uh, Zeros is ridiculously skill based. Get your fucking stick out. Yes, for get, zero. yeah. Start doing your inputs properly. Um, get your GameCube fight stick. I think, I imagine his as well is like you get more time to do more moves, yeah, right? I would think so. So that, that's what it is. So we, we can't make the assumption that higher percentages equals bigger damage right away. Yeah, okay. Uh, gotta use those builds. Gotta use those builds. Oh, gain hypers too. Uh, that's what, no, no, no. That, no, that, those no, are no, recovery that, that, that recovered. Yeah, I also finally understand my stupidity um, with the hyper mode confusion. Uh, I thought there was a secondary um, number of limited uses because I didn't understand cinnamon. We're building cinnamon. Yeah. Okay. I didn't understand what, like the difference between. You know what I didn't understand. You could like, use it whenever you have turns, is what it was, right? Well, well, but but there was moments where I regained some, not understanding why I regained it. Right. So that's what led to my confusion. Was like I wasted all my turns, and then suddenly I had more turns, and I was like, huh? So that's why there, there was some, some confusion there. But what it turns out is that when you level up, you get a turn back. Yeah, okay. Right? That makes so sense. So that's where my confusion came from. Um, but the turns that it says you have is the number of times you can actually do the thing. Otherwise, Period. Yeah. Until you level up. Or Why'd you use that one? I, I, I meant to do the, wave, the water wave. I kind of just oh. made a mistake there. <laughs> um, yeah, the water wave was the um, rhinoceros, I think it was, or yeah, whatever okay. the fuck. Whatever animal. I'm not here to fucking identify animals. <laughs> uh, and these are the bats from Mega Man 2. It's good shit. I like them. This is not a bat-free environment like certain Castlevania box arts. 
Oh man, we did a that video is not up yet. No, I don't know which not. video is gonna go first. But it, we did it, you know what? Fucking, it is up. It is up. By it now. is up by it this is up time. By now. Yeah. That fucking Castlevania box art video was so fun, and it was over two hours long. I loved it. It was it was a fucking stretch. I wish we would have had all the art, and yeah. there was some games legit missing. But we had a good time. We had a good Dope. time. Um, and there were bats everywhere, and now the bats are back. We should have just done a counter for the entire fucking Yeah, well, you video. know, it's like, hey, man, you, you, you need to tell people that this is an Akuma Joe. Yeah. What do we need to do to, to, to put bats for scale? You gotta sell it. You wanna head that way? Scale bats. No. Nope. Yeah. Camera nope. rotation. Where are you going? Back here. Let's. I want an instant camera behind me button. Yeah, I those are I, always nice. I thought I had one, but I didn't. Okay, so that all led to nothing. Yep. And we gotta go back in the inn. Basically. Out the in, in out. Yeah, this is totally the mining level. Yes. Makes sense. Uh, <laughs> thank you for that confirmation. <laughs> for that uh, stone It was, yeah, Gentra? Uh, Silverhorn. Ma Silverhorn? Okay. Because uh, 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 uh. he's a rhino. So he's got the horn. That calls the water? There you go. Yeah, it's weird. Like, he doesn't seem like he'd be the water <laughs> type, like, but... What? Yeah. That was the boss battle. He was freezing us. No, and, you're right, you're and, right, you're and right. making us, like, all moist yeah, and shit. It's not, it's, not, it's not where your brain goes initially, but, uh... And then you can do whatever you want to this guy. Nice. Yeah! Really, he's really into it there. Have you checked out Monster Hunter stories at all? Uh, I have not. Um, why is that? It's got some quality fucking, voice acting in there. Fucking that? good. No, it's just so good. Is he? He's not in a crouching state, is he? I can't tell. <laughs> this is not optimal. Well, only You're one gonna way, have to switch only out. Only way to find out. You have to switch out Massimo to find out. Well, he's on his back now. No, he's not. God damn it. No counter. Or some. Maybe that was regular. Yeah, that I'm that hurt sure. her. Anyway, the reason I'm bringing up Monster Hunter stories is because it's just Battle Network for Monster Hunter. Like, you know, it's just Capcom doing it again. Yep. Take, take cool yep. franchise and, like, repackage it for kids. Sorry, Which but... is good. That's not a bad thing at all. Mm -hmm. um, and it's such a fucking good game. Like, it's just like Battle Network. Not in terms of gameplay, but, like, they're yeah, really crazy. succeeding at adjusting the game for... Like, being an RPG. There's an anime that started coming out that's, like, fucking NT Warrior. But for Monster Hunter... It's super fun. I dig it. Uh, you ought to check it out. Cool. And then you ought to get back to Battle Network, because I believe you stopped playing them at zero, none of them? <laughs> yes, at, at 20 minutes. God. Or so. What do you even get in 20 minutes? Like, you don't beat Heat Man. I don't even remember it's been that long. Because I think the, the first game, if I'm remembering right, they just, like, start you off in a network and you're going to fight Heat Man or some shit. Okay, I gotta move Massimo. This is annoying the yeah, shit out of me. Yeah, this is ridiculous. This is stupid. This is really dumb. Uh... Bring in Spider for this or whatever. Like, what a, what a bad He's placement. Crouching. There we go. Enough from you. Get those melee attacks going. Yeah, so... So he, Massimo never stands there. But he... but Only in the two other character slots. Gotta waste the fucking... Time. Yeah. Leave the fighting to me. That's so stupid. I can't believe that's an issue. I know we're like, well, Matt, we're like six, seven hours in, but still. Now I see a little bit of issue. a flail, so I'm assuming that he's gonna die anyway. Yeah, he has okay. no life. It doesn't really matter. All right. <laughs> can't counter if you're dead. Um, yeah, Mega Man. I'm gonna get back to those. I think eventually someday, but it's possible never. Yeah, <laughs> it's possible never. I'm not gonna. Can lie. I go to the indoor? Yeah, yeah I'm just aiming the camera. Uh, let me heal up our our girl. A little bit. Axel. Yes. Now that we've got cinnamon, it doesn't even matter how much that shit costs anyway. Uh, so we went to this door, and yep. then there's this one. Bingo. May as well save. Might as well. I uh, do wonder how you're gonna break those rocks, though. Like, if you're gonna get zero and he has a sword that can break open the rocks or some shit. Um, or a new character? Nah, just no. zero. A special glove. Honestly, the cast is getting G Gutsman. Pretty... Gutsman's gonna yeah, come hang out. Nice. The the cast seems pretty big already. As it far does. As the it does. It honestly does. Characters go. Like most RPGs don't tend to have 
more than more than six characters. Fuck. Uh, what I was gonna say is that about Massimo's hyper. Um, the two bars, one bar is damage, the other bar is uh, status ailments. Yeah, yeah. So. No, I knew that. Okay. You didn't know that? Okay. No, well, just there was a moment where I was like, how come the second bar isn't? And it's like, it's because it missed it. it. It looked like it missed his attack, and what it missed was a status ailment on a mm. boss. So it's just like, uh, yeah, just pay, gotta pay attention there. Uh, melee. Yep. Spider's not melee. Ready or not. I brought him. Oh, you picked Fuck me. I thought you picked Spider for some reason. So those kind of shots, so those, yeah, those stealing moments are not going to work there. Alright, anti-counter stance. I don't know. Do they? Because it would make me think that he'd want, he'd counter after that. Maybe they're just missing. Wait, anti, shifted to anti-C stance. Yeah. But he's still crouching. I don't know, he's an anti-C stance. Okay, well that, that means anti-counter. Whatever. So, you know. Yeah, alright. If he's dead, he can't counter. So. Just gotta, well, just read read the message instead, you know, like, cause... Yep. Me. Uh, yeah, so, um... <laughs> uh, it was a good card, Wooly. It was a good card. Whatever you say, so, dude. No, someone's comment said that, and I fucking just started dying. They're like, no, Wooly, shut up. It was, it was a good a really card. good card. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I, I forgot to look up the Japanese voice acting, but I'm still wondering if that's anything. You know, it might just be one of those things where it's better because we're not fluent. Uh, like, at, in, refer in reference to what? The, the Japanese voice acting. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, just in, in general, not the specific line. Uh, just in general, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. It might be one of those things where it's a lot better because we're not fluent, but, okay. like, I keep forgetting to look it up. Every time we play, I really want to know, but... If only there was it's a language toggle. <laughs> You see the problem again in my brain. It's just like like flying people need to be shot. Yeah, duh. I'm aware of this stuff now. I'm just, I'm just, I was just kind of auto playing while I was listening to what you were saying there, but I'm gonna try to not fucking do that. X can do it though. X go and take it from you. Uh, so what's what is in this room? What's going on here? We found some bodies, but you want to head this way? Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the map. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's a little bit of a, not a, it obviously can't be Guts, man, but like some kind of cool rock smash, like. I, I mean, like. Drill, maybe? But Massimo's already in the party, you know? Like, I don't feel like we're going to get a character who's that, like, stupid bruiser archetype, because we already have Massimo, you know? It just seems like. Power virus. Oh, that's a different It seems like they tour. overlap too much. Could be. Um, what is your deal, sir? Metor Commander. Uh, okay. Damn. Nothing, nothing okay. really significant there. No, you just gotta kill it. I guess use your charge shot, because it'll hit the air enemies, too. Is it strong enough to kill them? Uh, it was last time. That gun looks stupid. It's the arrow buster. I don't like it. Don't, don't, don't knock the arrow buster. I don't like it. I don't like you. It's alright. Arrow buster doesn't have to like me. Your gun looks stupid. I identify as a cool gun. My hands so identify as guns. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and these guys are an anti- By holding my hand up like this at you, I'm implying I'm going to shoot you. The, the gun is implied. That was a good line. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's FTC. That's correct. Alright, she can take some healing. After he dies. I mean, I, I kind of feel like the normal Mega Man games, when there are moments of voice acting, they're still de they're decent enough. Well, their standard is incredibly high. Because when, so, th when you think about the annals of voice acted Mega Man content, I don't think any of it jumps out at me as bad. No, um, it doesn't, because that's... that's it's that's all between Dr. Wily and... <laughs> Fucking not being able to pronounce your lines. Okay. I don't think and and no, Iris. No, and, no, no, you know, no, no. Is there actually good voice acting in any Mega Man thing? Th yeah, there is some stuff that's fine that I can remember. There's some terrible shit. Which stuff? Don't say the comics. You say the comics every time. The co the comics have good voice acting, Liam. Fuck. 
Is what? there is there any good voice acting? I, re like I, re I remember um, like it's time to get serious being okay, and it's not over yet. But like th those same guys deliver terrible lines when it came time for the cutscene. Yeah. Okay. So, um, oh no, wrong one. Uh, then then then, then what you call it uh, uh, was okay too. Like Magma Dragoon was all right, but so then you have X Seven. One character. Then you have, but then you have like shit like X Seven where it's just like burn, 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 die, die, burn, burn, scum, burn, and it's and it, it's it's a problem mixed with the game having not enough variation on its lines and the voice acting being the I, most. Annoying I feel like thing. Mighty Number no. Nine has the best Mega Man voice acting. Like Azure Striker, Gun Vault, and Mighty Number no. Nine have better voice acting than Mega Man ever had. Possibly, I guess. Just what I'm getting at is like. I don't know what I'm getting at, man. They're all yeah, they're mostly bad. They're mostly bad. But this is like an extended ex like exposure to the bad. Of course. So it just kind of feels worse. Oh. Mega Man was never good anyway. I mean there's winners like Mega Man's like 7. I think 7's a good one. I don't know. You trying to talk about the X games? Or you're no, no, Mega Man Seven. Okay, all right. In general, yeah. that's a good one. Mega Man began at Mega Man Seven. It began at X. Uh, <laughs> just <laughs> what? Just X? Uh, well, I was gonna say like ZXA or some stupid shit, but I wanted to know what just happened. Mega Man to began us. at Mega Man Legends Three. Done. That's that's it, man. So do you know the story about Chris Slate? And Mega Man Legends 3. He was a Nintendo Power uh, editor or writer. I can't remember which one. Do you know the story about that? I don't. I don't. Or it was Chris Hoffman, I think. So, this guy, this this American journalist who or games journalist who worked for Nintendo Power, right? He was the only member of press to ever play the demo for Mega Man Legends 3, the official demo. Huh. Um, he was the in, one that we saw with uh, the footage of with the bike and stuff. Uh, yeah, but he actually got to play it with the small open world cool. and stuff like okay. that. He was literally the only member of the press to ever play it. Because uh, his write-up is the only one that exists. Okay. And it's really fucking fascinating. And I actually remember um, when they wrote that up, obviously it was pretty exciting in its own right. Because uh, the game hadn't yet been cancelled. But... Or wait, no, maybe I'm jumbling the timeline. Maybe the game was cancelled when he did the write-up, and that's why it was special? Anyway, regardless, it's really neat. And in Nintendo Force, which was that magazine that they made after Nintendo Power for a little while... Yep. Um, actually, I don't know if that magazine still exists, but anyway, they, they talked about it a little bit, and how the situation was really unique. You're gonna have to go elsewhere. Yep, you're gonna have gonna... to... Um, yep. But he was the only person to ever get to play it, and that always fucking... What a bummer, man. It got far what, enough... What, what did he say about it, though? Oh, he said it was great. It was good. It was really, really fun. Okay. I had a good time with... Like, it was... No, it was all positive, you know? And, of course, it was still early in, in the 3DS's the, life cycle. The footage it was very early. The footage didn't seem like much, to be honest. No, but it's it's there. Well, you remember, it was supposed to be... Yeah, you want to go just back out one door, and then there's tons of options. Yeah, okay. That away, yeah. Um... And then just south from here, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it wasn't bad, and, and it just see, it seemed it definitely seemed like a build that had physics and like vision and like assets, but that was about all that was going. Well, on. no, remember they were they were gonna release Mega Man Legends Three Prototype on the eShop for two dollars. Do you not remember mm, that? Yeah, that was yeah yeah, yeah. And you're right no, it, you're right. If I'm remembering, I, it's been a few years now because I think that was 2012 or something. So it's been quite a while. But if I'm remembering right, the release date for Prototype just kind of came and went before the cancellation, mm. and like Prototype got delayed or something like that. I can't exactly remember, but it's oh, it was such a fucking messy situation. I think that's the worst bit about it. Uh, do I have anyone with thunder on them right now? I don't think I do. Okay, well... You can always change weapon after the fact. Yeah, exactly. Now, I mean, now that you know what the enemy weaknesses are here, like, what are the, the Metors weak to? They change. It change okay, it they're, changes they're varied? Each okay, yeah. yeah. Um... I want to know what the fucking timeline is for Prototype, because that always... Yeah, it was supposed to release in 2011, okay? And Prototype wasn't... Wasn't planned. I remember that. I remember being so excited for Prototype, because it was coming out, like, now, you know? Whereas Mega Man Legends 3 was still... 
over a year away or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it was supposed to be like a small open world area, you know, like you'd expect from Legends. And it was supposed to have like, uh, I think like somewhere between 10 and 20 missions, I can't remember. And you could play as Barrett with his bike. And there was... It was fucking that, Mega Man? That was a thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Um, so it was supposed to come in 2011. And yeah, on July 18th, it was announced that it was all shit canned. Oh, interesting. Ice versus these liquid globs freezes them. That's cool. That's a neat property, actually. That, yeah. Yeah, that, and they, it, they have a little visual change to them. That's pretty fucking all, dope like, that that now. happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, here, to get you some, some info on that, yeah. Uh, Chris Hoffman, the only journalist to ever play Mega Man Legends 3 prototype version. Um, da, 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 da. Apparently, prototype version was, yeah, pretty much in a complete state, polished and chock full of content. And it, uh, apparently it was uh, multiple hours of gameplay that he said made it feel like it was a complete digital release rather than like a tiny demo okay. like it was it was obviously the story doesn't really go anywhere in it but you know oh that's awesome so, sorry when they're frozen you then use a combat attack and they smash open that's great because you like you, pr you crack the ice yeah, you just that's, that's fun i like that that's a cool system definitely